There are so many VR games that it can often be difficult to find some good ones between them. And that is why we are going to be talking about the 25 best side quest games that you can get right now. Going all the way from brand new ones to some real hidden gems. And best of all, most of these are completely free. So let's dive right into it. With the first one being Attack on Quest. This is for all those anime fans out there that are still waiting for the official Attack on Titan Unbreakable game. Because Attack on Quest is a fan-made game that lets you freely fly through the city and defend it with everything you got. And while the graphics might be nothing to write home about, it is definitely the closest you can get to Attack on Titan in virtual reality without spending a single dime. And on number 2, we have Battle Talent. This is a popular combat simulator game that is perfect for those who want an alternative to Blade and Sorcery. Because at its core, it also has some advanced physics where you will have to move through all the levels using your arsenal of weapons. And where its realistic fighting mechanics are its main drawing point. Now while Battle Talent is mostly an open sandbox. It also has progressive generated dungeons that create lots of enemies and room events where you can earn coins to upgrade your weapons and receive new abilities, making it easily one of the best combat games on side quests. And on number 3 we have Breachers. In this VR shooter you will be on one of two teams, that being the Enforcers or the Revolters, with each of them having their own unique skills and goals in their adrenaline pumping gameplay. And with loads of different maps and modes being added to the game through updates, it seems that this title is said to be an all-time favorite of many users. And that is not even talking about the insane graphics it manages to pull off on the limited hardware of the Quest headsets. But on number 4, we have Sport Mode. If you like realistic physics inside virtual reality, then this is the one for you. Because here you can spawn loads of different weapons and fight against enemies in the arena. But you can also make your own VR levels in creative mode, where you can add delete and manipulate whatever you want, giving the player the power to customize the entire game. And on number 5, we have Pavlov Shag. This is also known as one of the most competitive first person shooters of all time. Even so much that it also released on the official Quest Store. Because it tries to create a realistic experience with sights and sounds matching real life where possible. And while the one on Quest has some scaled down graphics compared to the Steam version, it is still a blast to play. But just keep in mind that when playing online you will come across some hardcore VR users. And on number 6 we have Physics Playground. While this is officially the predecessor of the previously mentioned game called Sport Mode, it was this title that was an experimental tech demo for full body VR physics. But it quickly became much more popular than expected. And this is a great title for those who love to play similar sandbox games like Bone Lab. And on number 7, we have Hybo. This is a multiplayer arrow shooting game where you play as a group of archers trying to eliminate the other team. But with the refreshing side to it is that you can fly through the arena and shoot your enemies from far away. With the flying system itself also being a very cool experience for virtual reality and feeling kind of similar to Echo Arena for those who remember that. While also giving you quite a lot of creative features for your bows like making explosions or completely blinding your opponent's team. And since it is completely free, it doesn't hurt to try it out. And another great free VR game is number 8, Five Nights at Freddy's. And while there are multiple versions on SideQuest available, the concept is very simple. Because inside this VR horror game, it is up to you to try to use your resources wisely and try to stay alive throughout the night. But be prepared for one of the biggest jump scares that you can get inside virtual reality. And number 9 is Hand Physics Lab. This is a much more calmer experience where you will be using realistic hand tracking to go to different puzzles and experiences. These can go from drawing to building to using your brain and hands in ways you might not have thought about before. And even though the concept is quite simple, its perfect implementation of these smooth hand tracking features actually makes this a very enjoyable game to play. And number 10 is Hyper Dash. This is a fast paced multiplayer shooter that also has crossplay with PC VR, making it one of the top rated side quest games of all time and which also is completely free to play. Now the game itself supports up to 5v5 player matches and even lets in spectators who can see the match without having a VR headset, with a lot of people also calling it the Overwatch or Team Fortress from virtual reality. And it includes a great learning curve where you will have to dash and boost yourself with real grinding to make your way around the arena as fast as possible. 
And on number 11, we have Moto X. This is one of the newest titles on this list, which is specifically made for those who love dirt bikes and motocross. And as the name implies, you will be racing at high speed on some different tracks while also having the freedom of creating some massive air jumps and pulling off some tricks like wheelies and drifting. And with the different modes from free ride to going up against opponents, you can choose what fits your playstyle best. Maybe try to get your name up that leaderboard for best races or try some airborne tricks and flips. Just make sure that when you do crash that you don't hit any of the furniture inside your room. And on number 12, we have Spatial Ops. While all these games so far are only playable in VR, it is Spatial Ops that takes their game to mixed reality instead, where you can turn any environment from your house and apartment into an all-out shooting game in an instant, basically turning your environment into an intense laser tag. Of course, when playing it on the Quest 3, you will also make use of the better mixed reality capabilities thanks to the color pass-through cameras that are on the outside of the headset. And also don't worry, if you don't have any other people to play with at the time because there is also a solo mode that got plenty of bots to keep you company and it is also good to mention that this game is completely free just like number 13 on this list which is cards and tankards this is the perfect experience for those who love a deck building game while being inside a medieval fantasy tavern and with so many cards to customize your deck you can completely create your own strategy on how to take down your enemies but it is also the environments that are made around it that make it really feel like such an immersive and cozy game. But before we go to the next 15 must play side quest games, let's have a quick word from the company that made this video possible. Because none other than Cat VR, who are also known to create VR treadmills that look like they come straight out of Ready Player One, are taking VR once again to the absolute next level. Because while we're normally limited by the space and boundary systems inside our virtual reality experiences, it is Cat VR that have been creating VR treadmills that let you run, crouch, and jump without having to worry about any limitations. And since their most recent version, known as the C2 Core, is compatible with nearly every headset, it is often also considered as the dream upgrade for any VR setup. And they even go so far that for those hardcore fans, they have high-end models which include things like haptic feedback as well as a vehicle up, making it feel even more realistic like riding on a horse inside VR. And to top it off, you can also use the code Frelity to get a $130 discount on your purchase. So for those who are interested, I'll leave a link in the description below. But with that said, let's get right back into it. And on number 14, we have Gravity League, yet another free VR title, but this time being a futuristic sports that makes it feel like you come straight out of the movie Tron. And while the rules are very simple and the gameplay might seem easy at first, you will probably quickly notice how difficult it becomes. And thanks to loads of unlockable stadiums, gloves and balls, it will keep you coming back to improve your skills. And on number 15, we have Ancient Dungeon. And no, once again, this is not a Minecraft mod, but instead a super hardcore dungeon crawler, where each level is newly generated, meaning it also is unique every time you play it again, with the levels being filled with traps, secrets, and loot to discover. While the enemies are getting stronger, the further you get. But when you get a game over, you will have to start again from the very beginning. But luckily, each time, you also can buy and sell different upgrades to improve your perks, which hopefully let you challenge and defeat the powerful bosses too. And on number 16, we have Gorilla Tech. While it originally released on SideQuest, it quickly became one of the most popular VR games of all time. And while the graphics are definitely nothing crazy, it is the simple addictive gameplay that gets you hooked immediately. And if you somehow have missed it, you basically embody a gorilla in a big game of tech where you will be using your arms to swing from point A to B. And thanks to its huge player base, it made Gorilla Tag also to one of the most influential VR games of all time, clearly showing developers that it is not just the graphics that create a successful title. And on number 17, we have Doom 3 Quest. This is the classic first-person game completely remastered and published by the highly skilled Team Beef. And in this one, you can play the original Doom 3 game with full motion controllers and VR tracking, featuring the full 27 levels, which directly also makes it one of the longest games for the Quest headset. And in my personal opinion, a great way to revisit this classic. Number 18. 
Questcraft. If you want to be able to play Minecraft fully inside VR, then this is the way to do it. Because Questcraft is essentially a standalone port of the original game being completely made from the ground up to work in virtual reality. And although it is completely free, you will need a copy of the actual game to be able to run it. But what more else is there to say? Besides that Minecraft in VR is absolutely amazing. And number 19 is Close Encounters. This is a completely new title that feels very similar to the original Breakout games but then visually designed to be played in virtual reality. And although the game is still on App Lab at the moment, it is also the first game of the studio called Abbey Normal Productions. And in it, you will play through 10 different levels from start to finish to maximize your score on the leaderboard. And with the difficulty quickly increasing as you progress through each challenge. And with the developers working so hard for it, I'm looking forward what else they can make in the near future. And number 20 is Piano Vision. This is a music-based game that lets you learn how to play the piano very quickly. And you might have already seen it before, since Meta has often showed it off as one of the best mixed reality experiences that you can get. Because it uses the simple concept of hand tracking and pass through to overlay the notes onto a real world piano, teaching you the songs by displaying the notes that align with the keys in front of you. And even if you don't have a piano at home, you can still use it and become a pro in no time. And number 21 is Formula X. If you love racing, then this is the perfect game for you. Because in here, you can become a world class driver in your very own Formula race car. And not only does it have very realistic driving mechanics, it also also has everything you come to expect from a formula race, like global competitions to completely customizing your race machine, as well as making strategic pit stops as your tires wear down, letting you make the crucial decisions that can make or break your victory. On top of that, it also offers over 10 iconic race circuits for you to master, with each their own unique challenges and surprises. On number 22 is Squacamole. This is directly also the first game from a very small VR team that is trying to recreate the feeling of a classic arcade game, but then inside virtual reality, where in it you will have to hit the so-called moles as quick as possible. And with each level having an increased difficulty, it will definitely test your precision and speed. And designed with intuitive controls, you can basically pick it up and directly start playing. And since it is made by such a small team, I am looking forward to see where they take it. And number 23 is T for God. This is also directly the most unique side quest VR game available because it is a stealth shooter that uses your room skill to create unique one of a kind maps each time a level is generated. This means you can endlessly walk in your VR space without having to worry about your surroundings. But honestly, you really need to play it to appreciate its design. And of course, the bigger your room is, the more fun the experience. And on number 24, we have Gun Raiders. This is one of the best free first person shooting games on this list. From starting off with customizing your avatar and having a great way to teach the basic mechanics in the first tutorial, it is once you get more confident enough in your abilities that you can join up with other players in the arena to fight them in a battle royale or teams against each other. But it is these smooth gameplay and hardcore skills that give Gun Raiders such an interesting dynamic, like adding in the ability to climb as well as using jetpacks in their beautifully created environments, making it an absolute must play for all that haven't already. And on number 25, we have Population 1. This list wouldn't be complete without the number one battle royale shooter in virtual reality. And while just like Gorilla Tag, it has been massively popular ever since it launched on SideQuest, it is also one of the few games that became from a paid title to completely free to play. And if that doesn't speak for itself yet, then its highly detailed graphics, insane gameplay, and many different game modes makes Population 1 one of the true VR classics and must play VR games for any Quest user. But that's not all, because there are also some other amazing titles for your VR headset. So click on the video that you see on screen right now to make sure you don't miss out. And of course, stay awesome.